Hey everyone, on this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to be talking about my favorite type of procedural coding, ICD-10 PCS, or Procedural Coding System. This coding system is only used in inpatient hospital settings. This is the only time you'll find this coding system in particular, and it is my favorite procedural coding system ever. I have done a couple videos previously about PCS, so this we'll be taking a closer look at the book, how it's set up, and how to navigate it, and what the tables will look like, so you can see how we code within this book. And then I'll also have videos on actually taking procedures, breaking it down, going into the book, and actually applying codes. It's going to be awesome. So enjoy looking at this book. All right, so this is our ICD-10 PCS code book. This one is published by AHIMA, the American Health Information Management Association. And when we open it, you will get to this red section, this red section here that gives information on the terminology that is used, different guidelines that you need to use while using the code book and how to build your code. And then we get into the black section, which is our index that has every body system, body part, root operation, or common names procedures go by. So you are able to find that procedure you need and it will tell you which root operation you should look for. And then it will give you the first three letters or numbers of your code, which tell you which section to go into, which body system it is in or chapter, and what root operation you are looking for. If we look at excision, it will give a subterm, which is your body system or body part. And then there are even more subterms within that that go into more detail on what type of artery, etc., where you can find the laterality, so the left or right side, and it will direct you to the correct table and correct section. And then we get into our first section of the code book, which is medical and surgical. So our first section is medical and surgical, and this front page, the first page of every section of the book, will tell you what each character of the code means Up on the top. The section, body system, root operation, body part, approach, device, and qualifier. It also gives you a list of all the different chapters within it, which are all the different body systems. And then what's really awesome is once you get into it, it is color coded. So it is very easy to jump around the book because as you go through it, you will start to remember which body system is which, co which color and where within the book it is. And that's why I love this code book because I am a visual learner. So once you actually get into one of the sections, so once we are in heart and great vessels, just as an example, so we can see the table. So this right here is our table. So looking at this table, at the very top of the table, it will give you the first three characters of your code. The first one, or in your first character placement, is the section, and it gives you what character it is, and that is medical and surgical. The second character placement is the body system, its number, heart and great vessels. And then we get into our operation, or root operation, and it tells you what root operation it is, and then it gives a definition of that root operation. Then, within the table, each column signifies a different character placement within your code. It also tells you what number placement it is. So in your fourth character placement, that is your body part. And down that column, it gives you an entire list of all of the body parts that are available for this root operation within this chapter or body system. So you look down until you find the body part you need. You will write down what number or letter is associated with it. And then you need to stay within that row when you're filling out the rest of your code. You can't jump around, you have to stay within this one row. So let's go with ventricle left. So that is in our first row. So then we go to our approach or our fifth character placement and it gives you what approach or how they got to that body part, which ones are available, open or percutaneous endoscopic. And then we go to our device column, which is our sixth character placement, and it gives us all the different devices that are commonly used in this root operation and in 
this body part or the left ventricle and you choose which one you need and then you go to the qualifier or your seventh character placement and that usually gives you information on the device or other information that needs to be captured for this type of procedure and that is how you build your code and navigate the table so after we skip through all of our medical and surgical sections the next section of the code book is obstetrics, so that's anything with pregnancy and delivery. The next section is placement section, which talks about any anything that's externally placed on the body, like dressings or packing, etc. And then we have our administration section. And if you remember from one of the pre previous videos on root operations, I talked about a bone marrow transplant and how that is not in the medical surgical section. It is in the administration section. You can find what code or what table will be used to create your code for a bone marrow transplant and administration overall talks about administering a certain substance like an anti-inflammatory anti-neoplastic bone marrow is listed on there platelet inhibitor etc i also suggest with any of these sections body systems etc as you can see make notes sometimes you need to remember this information and it's not always in this book they don't always have that specific of information so as you're going through your classes you can always write notes in here to remind you so our next section is measurement and monitoring section this essentially talks about conductivity flow metabolism pressure and sound usually um, you'll find this for the cardiac system then we have our extracorporeal assistance and performance section extracorporeal therapies section and then we have our chiropractic section and our imaging section which talks about all sorts of imaging assistance that may be used in a procedure like fluoroscopy mri ct x-ray etc we have our nuclear medicine section our radiation therapy section physical rehabilitation and diagnostic audiology section our substance abuse section and then we finally get to our appendices so in appendix a this is all about defining every single root operation that is found in this book it gives the definition so a more detailed explanation of it and then it also gives examples just in case you are not sure we have our type and qualifier definitions with get which gives more information on the names that are commonly found in the qualifier columns of your tables and how to describe them our approach definitions and in, in, in appendix c so if you are unsure what the approach means or how the surgeon or medical provider got to the body part being worked on this is the appendix that you can look in to give more detailed information on what each of those approaches mean and then we have all about our medical and surgical body parts because sometimes in a procedure they may use body parts that are not defined in the tables because PCS uses mainly the more generalized or the larger body parts. They don't go into detail like for muscles. They don't have every individual muscle. They usually go with the larger muscles or muscle groups. So this is where you would find which muscle group the muscle your procedure is working on so you can figure out which body part to use. Then we have in Appendix E the devices that are used. So in PCS, they use general terms for the devices like infusion pump or pacemaker or drainage device. And most likely in the procedures, the surgeon or doctor will use the manufacturer name, etc., like a Foley catheter or a K wire, and you don't know what that means. You would look in this appendix to find that device that is used and then figure out which device term PCS uses so you know which device to choose. And it usually gives the manufacturer names. Okay, so here, an internal fixation device in the upper joints. This includes a fusion screw or a 
Kirschner wire or K wire. So that is what a K wire is, an internal fixation device. So that is how we use this appendix, which is very helpful instead of having to go online and searching for it. Our next appendix, which is the substance qualifier. So this gives more common names for the type of substances that may be injected into the body. And then that is the end of our code book. So that is what the code book looks like, how you use it with the tables. So that is the PCS code book, which is my favorite code book. And as you could see, it is very organized. It is great for visual learners because it is color coded. And since you get to build your code, it makes it very easy to navigate the book because you just flip to the body system you need, find the body part, and then you work through each column of the table to fill in the rest of your code. And it is fantastic. So the next videos I will be making will be focusing more on specific procedures and looking into the book and following through the tables on how we build the code. So it, so for you visual learners out there, you can see how this actually works instead of just hearing someone talk about it because it's a lot of fun. I will see you all later. Bye!